All right, next test is a 10 millimeter. Uh, how many grains is this bullet? 180. 180 grain bullet on the 10 millimeter. This particular. Got it. <laughs> it came Joe, back, hit me in the Let's see the projectile. It came right back. Hit me in the chest. It Holy came right back. Cow. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it should be. There's the projectile. Pancake came right Holy back. Holy cow. Stand by. I'm going to bring that back around. That's amazing. That round? I got some more velocity. This round right here bounced from all the way back. All right. The Vest was just fired on twice with a 40 cal, 155 grain hollow point, law enforcement round. Both rounds are lodged in the top layer of the vest, and we just retrieved the lines. If you notice, hollow points have a habit of doing what? They can mushroom out and tear through. They barely had a chance to mushroom out. So these two are the hollow points. These two are hollow points. And this is from the 44 Magnum. Actually. There you go. Here, gun over. And that's the 44 Magnum. So that's from that round. This would be that projectile is from these, but it's the same projectile these are. Because all a 40 caliber is, is a cut down version of a 10 millimeter. Exactly. And then you have the 44. Amazing. All right, we're now over on the rifle range to shoot the test vest on Bob here with a 12 gauge slug. Shooter's almost ready. Shooter's ready. Test. This is a reproduction of the test that we did with the federal agency. You ready? Ready. I'm ready. Instead of the vest, we're going to do a retake of this. I the ploy to get the owner to shoot. Alright, hang on, Lena. Let me get ready. Because that's how the feed works on it. I hate this. I know. Oh, Jesus. When you're ready. Alright, second test, 12 gauge slug at 25 feet. Oh. That's what usually happens.